Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 40 of the Rags to Riches Challenge here on Jay Morano's channel with Farming Simulator 22. Now, in the show notes for today, and I want to be very upfront with you guys, I was actually not looking forward to recording today. Um, for those that know and the hardcore fans know that IRL background has been uh, not going the greatest right now, and I'm also... I guess yesterday I got a little sick. I don't know what was going on. I had severe headaches and uh, fever and all that great stuff. So that's great. Um, but the show must continue. I'm not sure if it'll be a real long one, but we're at least going to get some progress on the farm for you guys to have an episode this Friday. All right. In the show notes, what I wrote down, the number one thing I want to do is obviously sell our bottled milk, our usual um, expand our cornfield. We're going to buy some more land if possible and expand or plant in the new land area. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Farmland. We're going to expand this cornfield out down through here. And then over here in the, I guess by the game standard, it's, it, it looks like on the graphic by the map designers, it's field 11, but field three here, we're going to put some sort of crop and or extend our grass field there i haven't fully decided yet um we'll get there when we get there number four is possibly buy a forge trailer now that we have the new cow barn and we can dump that in there and then i had logging on there but i'm going to be honest we're not going to log today um i'm not feeling the game i'm not feeling the want to record right now uh, and i don't want to it to be a burden i do want to get some stuff done because if i don't do it today then you guys aren't going to get another episode until monday possibly tuesday depending on the whole plumbing situation they have yet to show back up um and i guess we're just playing off of their schedule and they said f us you know what i'm saying so that's that last night we uh had a potential home invader uh for those that care if you don't i'm sorry i'm gonna t say it anyways um, got him on candy camera. Um, it looks like our neighbor's son was the culprit. He had his face masked up, but uh, we were able to verify via an Alabama hoodie he was wearing. So that's something that happened last night. I had to go and uh, we caught him on our, our surveillance, our home uh, defense system, I guess if you will. Uh, and he noticed the camera and he was like, oh crap. And then he left and went back home. Um, and then I went and got a no trespassing sign, and let's just say if he was going to come through the window that he was thinking he was going to come through, it wouldn't have been pretty. Um, yeah, so that's kind of how my days went. Uh, it is midday. I want to live stream later. Uh, I did get Red Dead Redemption working, so we're going to play some of that because I've been really wanting to play that game, and I have not been really wanting to play this game. Um, but I do want to continue our story, so let's go ahead and let's load up all the bottled milk that we can. And it's not that I'm getting burned out or anything. It's just, you know, I need a change of pace. I don't want to play it every single day with everything that's going on IRL. I need a break from certain things. Um, and, yeah, just has been hectic. And actually, two hours ago, we had a tornado touch down in our area. Luckily, I'm on the south side of my county, and it touched down on the north side. But the potential was bad there i was going to move this cell point over by the maple syrup cell point but and i did get some feedback on the uh the black bean here and, and a lot of guys are like go ahead and upgrade to a 3500 a lot of guys are like keep the truck get both of them still undecided um a lot of guys were like use the black bean for hauling uh hauling things to sell like what we're currently doing a lot of guys were like buy or, yeah use the black bean for what we just did like selling stuff with the flatbed and they were like use the 3500 to uh haul the bales or something like that or use this a semi uh to let's go ahead and uh keep plowing use the semi and get a semi bell loader trailer and that is also option. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'm still undecided on that. Again, my head has not been on this series recently with all the IRL stuff going on. Last night having a home invader, um, which I, I'm a no mercy, you know, like I said, I'm a no mercy type of guy. Somebody breaks into my home, they better be right with their maker is all I got to say. Um, 
and yeah, I mean, my mind has just not been on this series the past week. On top of not feeling the greatest, um, it's just not been a good time. Um, I enjoy the game. I enjoy the series when I have the time to do so. But, like, right now, my mind is, like, not solely vested into this right now. Um, I'm just trying to go through the motions, keep it going. But, yeah, it's been uh, it's been not the greatest week for sure. Uh, along with the PC, uh, buying those expensive parts, one of them being faulty. Um, and, yes, I'm driving through the field not really caring about it too much um yeah it's uh the the piece being faulty i did get that shipped out and i'm waiting to get something back or a replacement for that i'm guessing it's gonna basically be whenever they receive it and then i will find out something if they're going to send me one back i don't know i'm gonna take out some of the corn stalks oh well we'll have to tidy it up later All right, and it's going to be a little lopsided. Once we harvest uh, that corn crop right there, we're just going to plow this for now. We're not going to plant. Uh, we'll be able to really shape it up when we plow it again. We'll just plow it all again. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys have had a better week than I have had for sure. It's been just everything, one thing on top of another. I think I've spent in dollar-wise this week between like plumbing the computer parts, not not even counting the time that I've invested, I've probably spent probably sixteen hundred dollars this week alone. Not counting like rent, a rent, mortgage, uh, electric, groceries, like all the normal stuff. Like it's been uh, one thing after another. So we're gonna just uh, continue on and try to uh, be steadfast. You grinding. That's all we can do, right? Ain't no rest around these parts, unfortunately. I think it's crazy that somebody, while we're home, and both of our vehicles are home, would have the audacity to... They didn't know there was a camera there at first. It was obvious. And then when they seen the camera, oh, they ran away. Oh, I'm a pussy. Oh, no. I've been on caught on camera, candy camera. And it's like, man, that pisses me off, man. Ooh. It's like, come over here again, you know what I mean? And of course, they haven't been outside all day, of course. So I can't go over there and be like, hey, uh, what's up? <laughs> Next time you come over here, it ain't going to be pretty. I hate bad neighbors, man. And unfortunately, they, well... the fortunate thing is, is that they are renting. They don't own that property right next to us. Um, but, and they've been warned twice or they'll be kicked out, but, and we just sent that footage to the landlords and be like, Hey, um, they're trespassing. And we caught, we went with the county attorney and, uh, we're going to get them for trespassing, uh, because he popped the county attorney identified that person. So not to let you guys on in too much of my personal stuff for those that don't really care. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're going to try to get him for trespassing, have the sheriff's department go and investigate and ask him, you know, like, what was he doing? Don't get on that property again. You know, all that bull crap. You know, a part of me, the reason why I really love Red Dead, right, is because, in my opinion, and this is super, I don't know, I guess in today's time they call it Red Pill, I guess, but whatever, you know. I'm, I'm just stating what I think, um, in my opinion. You know why people had respect for people back in the gunslinging days? Because if they disrespected somebody, they just got shot, man. Like, there there was no, oh, I need to go tattle to the lawyer and take two months to get something done. It's like, no, you disrespected somebody, they pulled out their six-shooter and let you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, in my opinion, the 1800s were a better time for that reason. People were better. And now it's just getting worse and worse, and people are getting worse and worse. And it's unfortunate. But that's just, I mean, that's just that's just my opinion. That's just how it is, man. That's how I see it. That's how I see the world through my eyes. 
and I'm wish, I, I, like it, it, it's wit, I'm witnessing it firsthand with uh, this guy that he's actually the same age as me, uh, but he's you know taking an alternate path in and out of jail, meth, you know burglary, all that bull crap. And it's just man, it's like come from the same area pretty much doesn't work you know you know you know the type you guys know the type i'm pretty sure i know the demographic from of my audience and I, i'm pretty sure you guys are gonna agree with me or somewhat oh in other news <laughs> uh let me know in the comments if you've had any situations like that uh i know it's very specific but if you ever had a bad neighbor any kind of scenario like that where you're probably gonna if if they do something you know lethal force might have to be included after going through the the appropriate routes of lawyer sheriff's office all that stuff like what what's uh, been your guys's uh all i know is i need to make sure i get the positive ident identification before i do anything <laughs> and interestingly uh jake is uh he owns his own defense company uh and uh I sent him the video, and he's like, yikes. And he was masked up. Looks like he's up no good. I was like, yeah, he probably wasn't going to say hi at, like, I think it was, like, 3.45 or 2.45 in the morning or something like that. And, you know, I was sound asleep. I, I felt terrible yesterday. And uh, so was the woman. She was sound asleep. She woke up, and she sent that video, and she woke me up. And I was like, oh, great. Got to deal with this. Oh, boy. I just don't get people sometimes, man. Just no respect for anybody but their selves. This will be this field. Uh, now, the question I have is, we have enough to buy more land. Should we go ahead and do that and buy the next plot and just extend this field to that road? Hmm. I am debating it. I am debating it. Oh, and you guys want to know what happened to the uh, seeding of trees. Speaking of, we're going to, after we plow this, we're going to unhook and drive the tractor over, and I have been forgetting to plant more trees, uh, which I was going to do on like a live stream or something. Uh, so let's go ahead and unhook, and let's drive over real quick to plant some more trees. All right, guys, you can see the trees that we've planted are growing. Uh, very interesting. Oh, oh, oh. Let's, uh, I think, I, I hope I didn't plant the wrong trees. That was that way. I'm on the wrong side. Whoops. Whoops. Um, but it takes 10 years, in game, 10 years to grow. So while we're doing stuff, we'll have trees growing for us, which is why I wanted to get those planted while we're cutting trees down. So we've got 20 that look like they're growing pretty decently. I've been completely forgetting about these guys, man. Um, so now I need to line up about right here, lower, turn on, and boom. It planted, and it just plants as you drive. It's pretty neat. Pretty neat. So yeah, basically this is going to be a way. Hey, look, the deer right there. I just noticed them. Check that out. It's pretty cool. Pretty neat, pretty neat aspect of the game. Uh, but yeah, I, I want to still be able to harvest trees down in the future, which is why I'm planting these. And as we're harvesting trees, I want to also plant trees behind whatever we harvest, which is why I'm doing this so we can just have more and more trees. That, that's pretty much the, essentially the idea uh, behind why we're planting trees here. For those that's been asking in the comments, I did read those, and I'll address that here. Uh, this is just... Oh, wait, I forgot we don't own this land. Let's turn around. One thing is, I don't want to get them too close. Yeah, right here, are we good? Got five more. Super boring, super slow work, but... It'll pay off down the line. Um, I'm only going to plant these two row, this row and a half, and then we're going to go back. And boom, that's the last one. 
Let's go ahead and head back, and I'll see you back on the farm to... Uh, we may go ahead and buy that land, and we may go ahead and extend that cornfield, actually. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead, and let's buy the next plot over real quick let's hit farmland i don't think i need to buy anything else at the moment so i do want to buy this though for 181 let's hit the buy button boom leaves us with 32k let's go ahead and go straight across whoa, 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 whoa. i forgot to turn the uh create field back on there we go there we go now we're talking and what i'll do um well, until we learn course play, we'll put a little separator between that square field right there and this one until uh, I get the time to learn course play, which I need to do, but I just, I, I don't want to, I'm not, like today, I'm not putting any more time than I have to into this game. Uh, it's not where my mind's at right, the, right at the moment. Oh, too much stuff going on, too much stuff going on at the moment. Okay, we're going to get to this road. And then we're going to stop. Now, before we get there, let's raise this guy back up. We should be able to straighten him up here. I don't know why that that does that. It has to be the mod. That's the only thing I can come up with. It's the only thing you guys have commented. For whatever reason, this, this plow mod wants to turn sideways. For whatever reason. I can't figure out why. It just does. It goes with the land. Somebody said that they think it's probably like hooking up, ho hooking onto the grid of the map or something like that. I'm not sure. I have no idea. But it does get pretty annoying. There we go. We'll stop right there. And that. Now, the question is, for this other half of the Field 29, do we, do we extend our grass field, or do we plant something else there? For now, I'm probably not going to mess with it. Uh, for now. But, that is something to think about. Now, I don't know why I drove back down here, because I need to drive along the road, sort of. All right, this will be very odd shaped. Now you'll notice it's like turning. I'm trying to not hit the road there. Almost got into the gravel road. I don't know why it's doing that. Do you guys see that? Very odd. Very, very odd. All right, let's do a quick curve right here. Oh, my goodness. I think what I have to do is I have to completely turn to straighten it up. Yep, that's what it is. Come on, baby. Seems like it's struggling. Need to turn a little bit more. Yeah, it's like I have to hard turn the tractor at like a 90 degree angle to get the plow to turn back straight. It's very interesting. Very interesting. All right, I'm going to skip ahead until I have the new field plowed up for us. All right, guys, so we need some mineral feed. Now, we don't have a ton of cash. We're sitting at 32K, um, but I need to buy in bulk some mineral feed, and we just went to the negative that fast. That only afforded us 3,600 liters. That's crazy. Why is mineral feed so expensive? Wow. Um, what we'll have to do is that just seems crazy to me uh what we'll have to do is hmm i mean i guess i don't know is there is there like a factory that we can make our own mineral feed i'm gonna shoot across our field our new field here take this to the cow barn um 
Because if so, then we definitely definitely de- need to look into how to make it. Because, holy crap, that is way too expensive. Very, very expensive. For only 3,600 liters, it's basically 10K a liter. Or per thousand liters. Yeah, because we had 32,000. And we only got 3,600 liters for 32,000. Dang. Very expensive. Well, we need to start up some mowing um, real quick. So what I'll do is we'll dump this off. We'll start up the old, uh, I guess we can make a run. i tell you what. What we're going to do is we're going to go sell some lumber. Uh, to get us some money because we can't even hire AI without some money in the old bank account. So that's all we'll do. Let me uh, let's dump this off here. Uh, let's park the case, uh, the case on the chase. Turn off the lights and uh, well, if I can get out from behind the peat there. Let me, let's see, we got some wool setting here, um, but I don't want to sell that because I want to stack these up and store these for clothing and fabrics and all that good, good stuff. Um, yeah, let's, uh, hmm, what's to do, what's to do, let's get old Big Bertha out, um, let's start him up. So we don't need the baler, but I'm gonna pull it out, like pull it to like right here. Um, let's go hook up to our Cubota. First off, let's move this trailer out of the way because it's like literally just in the way. Just in the way. It doesn't need to be. Let's go park it over here. Gosh, look at that big Bertha. It's awesome. All right, there's that. Let's pick up our front-loaded attached mower. Uh, couldn't stop there. Uh, now let's pick up our back attached. Some light. Lights, please. Cubota! Let's go. And start off. Crap, I forgot to change that. I forgot to connect the fields, didn't I? Uh, let's do this field first, then. Up to our right. Look at that. That is awesome. Actually, awesome. Fold lower. Now before we start, let's go and I'll see you guys at the shop with a load of lumber. All right, guys, here we are pulling in to sell some lumber, so we're not negative 32 in the bank, and also two pallets of furniture. But I'm not sure if that'll move the needle a whole lot. It brought us in with all that lumber and furniture, 92,687 plus 10,845. Uh-oh. And we're going to hit anyway. Yep. It's just like, man, this. I need more space back there to turn, you know? <laughs> need more space. Let's turn on that little bitty ramp. All right. Now that we have that done and we got some cash, let's go. Whoa. We took out the signs. Oh. Son. All right, guys. Now that we got that finished, I do need to check the chickens to make sure that they're okay. Let's hop out. Let's go check the chickens out. Yeah, they're good. They're good. Um, What to do now? I know I've got show notes, but we've already done the main two things. Uh, the other thing was 
uh, plant something in the new land, but really we don't need to do that. The only other thing we need to do is mow um, just our per usual mowing, and that'll be a time lapse. And I'm really, you know, I mean, honestly, guys, I'm not feeling it. Uh, you can probably tell. Um, you can probably tell. Uh, I'm just not in the mood, you know what I mean, uh, with everything that's going on. And I'm sorry I feel that way. It's just uh, I tr I tr I'm trying to focus. I'm trying to uh, do this. Uh, very first thing, let's grab this guy. W what we're going to do is we're going to do the mowing time lapse, all that good stuff. Um, probably won't bail it. Well, I'll try to bail it, but... Yeah, I don't know, guys. It's uh, I'm not in the mood, to be honest with you. Um, but we do need to get this mowing done. Um, we'll do that area, I think, in the next episode. It's just, it's just so unfortunate, too. Um, I don't know. Let's uh, start this guy off. Mowing done through here. Actually, crap. Let's, uh, I should have started him left to right instead of down that way. Let's, uh, let's go down here to the end and we'll start in the right direction. Yeah, guys, it's a bummer because, uh, I always look forward to making videos and stuff. Like, I, I just honestly got to take care of the IRL stuff. It's getting on my nerves. I think I heard him outside. I can't f put my energy and focus into it, you know what I mean? All right, let's uh, put them, wait, what? I said block by an object. Now let's go over here and let's start a time lapse. Let's get it going. Let's get it going and uh, I will see you after the time lapse. We'll see if my mood improves after the time lapse is finished and we'll go from there.
I am going to go ahead and call it. Uh, it is going to be the outro. It is coming a pretty bad storm outside, and I don't want to risk uh, the electric going off and losing all the progress that we made today, as well as I'm going to be making a call to the uh, county attorney and uh, discussing what happened last night. So, yep, I'm I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and edit this and get it scheduled up for tomorrow. That way you guys will have the episode. Got the big Bertha looking good, looking good. Uh, the next episode may be Monday, um, depending on how quick I can get the video up. It'll probably be Monday night. I'm thinking the schedule for Monday's upload will be in the evening because I have not got to record Monday's episode. So the way I want to do it to make Monday, Wednesday, Friday work is I record Monday, Wednesday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Monday's episode, Wednesday's episode, Friday's episode, and then Thursday record mo next Monday's episode. So that gets me ahead. And then, which, I mean, as my core community knows, I have not got to do so, especially this week. Uh, so, that being said, um, yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much all I got for this episode. Sorry, episode 40 is cut short, uh, but due to IRL stuff going on, dealing with plumbers, and then last night, our neighbor tried to invade our home, and yes, we do know it was our neighbor. Um, they are your typical, um, your typical meth, uh, meth infested uh, uh, in and out of jail type of people uh, in Kentucky and those who are from Kentucky know exactly what I'm talking about basically we think he was looking at our HVAC unit and we have a camera over top of our HVAC unit, unit I should say for that very reason to steal the copper out of it that's what we're thinking or he was up to no good about to break through the uh, through the window but we'll go from here. Um, we do have arms in the household, so if they need to be used, they will be used. All right, guys. I appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed this episode or if you enjoy the series and want to support me in any way possible, please hit the like button and make sure you are subscribed. For those that want to become members on YouTube, I usually have the first link. Or I usually have a comment pinned that i comment on every episode just so there is a link that you can click to become a member as well as consider subscribing on patreon we got at least enough to make one server now if you want access to the servers it's five dollars a month go to the patreon link that's the only way i can get your email to whitelist you for the servers youtube does not give me that data for members unfortunately so you do have to go through patreon to do that once you do that, once I have the server up and going, and keep in mind, it's just as soon as I can get it done, guys, as soon as I can get it done. I work a full-time job. Um, I also need to keep up with making this series, and I also need to get the server set up. So just keep in mind, it give me a little bit of time, and I will have it up and running. That being said, guys, that's all I've got. That's all I've got. I will see you in episode 41 to where hopefully stuff settles down, and we can really enjoy the next episode together, and I don't have to be... Uh, distracted with uh, petty stuff in IRL. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.